In today's video, we're going to talk about a grid system called the Van de Graaff Cannon. So this is a system used to design book layouts and it was designed by a guy named uh, Robert Van de Graaff. But it was popularized by a guy named Jan Jacquard. So Jan Jacquard was a graphic designer, a calligrapher, a typographer and a book designer. So we're going to talk mostly about his book designs. So he goes into detail in this book called The Form of the Book on the Van de Graaff system. So this is what the system looks like and I'm going to show you how to construct this so you can use this to design your book layouts. So we're going to start with a simple square on the top left hand corner and we're going to measure the square as one unit. So one square equals one unit. Then we're going to copy and paste the square over and over again until we get this grid. So it's four by three. So four units by three. And this is where we design the book pages and the book layout as well. So first let's put in the book pages. So this is page one and page two. So after this, we're going to draw in the first set of lines. So the first set of lines is just a simple diagonal line going from each corner. The second set of lines goes from the bottom, uh, the bottom corners to the top intersection of the page. And from this, we're going to draw in these lines right here from these intersections. So to draw this, start from here, from number one, draw a line all the way to the top and just connect uh, these two intersections with number three. And in the end, you should have something like this. And next, we're going to draw in this rectangle right here. So this is the rectangle where you put in all the uh, text. So to draw this, just start from this intersection from number one connect a line to number two to this intersection and draw a line all the way down to number three. So in the end, you should have something like this. And next, we're just going to copy and paste this uh, rectangle into this corner right here. So just move it straight from here to here. So that's just a simple copy and paste right over. So in the end, you'll have these two squares. This is where you put in all of the text. So in the end, when you have a, a, a book layout like this, you'll have this in the end. So you probably notice that this is a layout a lot of books use. And this is called the Van de Graaff system. And that's how you draw the Van de Graaff system. And you uh, put in the text. You can also put in some page numbers on the bottom right hand corner. And there's many different things that you could do. But that is the basics of a book layout. So before I show you some examples of uh, books using this layout, I want to show you this quote by Massimo Vignelli. Don't be governed by the grid, govern the grid. So even though we're following this grid system, you shouldn't always follow the rules of this grid system. Because then uh, your books will just look and feel just like all of the other books. So to create a unique book layout, you need to break the rules here and there. So let me show you some examples. So this is a layout um, following the grid system, but you can see they've broken the rules here. They've kind of gone, gone over the line here. And also the image has also gone, gone over the lines. So it's not um, the text is within the box, but the image goes over the box. So uh, your attention goes to the image first, then to this text, then to the secondary text. Here's another example. So this is probably like a presentation or something like that. And they've followed the rules quite a bit here, but they've also broken the rules by putting some uh, images and text outside uh, of, the, of the rectangles. And they've also put in the numbers outside of the uh, rectangle here as well. So that creates a unique look. And here's one more example. This is an image for a, a movie and they followed the the, uh, the box clearly, so that's clearly within the uh, Van de Graaff box, but the image takes over the entire second um, page. So that creates a unique look. So even though all of these layouts are following the same grid system, they all look different because they've broken the rules in different parts of the system. So you don't always have to follow the same exact system, break the rules here and there, uh, but don't break it too much because then it'll be too hard to read. So you have to, uh, usually what I do is I follow the rules first, then I see which rules I could break and see if it still works. So if you want to see more examples and more ideas about grid systems, make sure you comment down below and also make sure you hit that like button. It really helps this channel grow. Um, and also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I come out with videos like this weekly. 
And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I put out some great posts about grid systems, design, quotes, um, uh, Twitter, Instagram. I'll leave a link to both of them in the description below. So I'll see you in the next video.